birth of Jesus. for the celebration of Christmas Mass during the night, presided over by Pope Francis. Those present here in St. Peter's Basilica are participating in a moment of prayer and reflection preceding Holy Mass. From wherever you're joining us, on behalf of Vatican Media, I'd like to welcome you to this live broadcast and wish you a most blessed, happy, and Merry Christmas. Welcome to those of you tuning in through the various Vatican Media channels, perhaps the Vatican News web portal, our live events app, the Vatican Radio app, our Facebook live feed, or our YouTube channel. To all of our television viewers, welcome to all of you, whether you're tuning in through EWTN, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV India, and Sunday Shalom, at Madarshan TV, Uganda Catholic Television, and to those of you tuning in through radio this evening, welcome to all of you tuning in through Radio Maria in the Philippines, Relevant Radio, Sirius XM Radio, the Catholic Channel, CBS News London, Radio Maria Lithuania, Luminous Radio, and Radio Maria Papua New Guinea. To welcome to, to all of you who may be tuning in through other local or diocesan radio stations picking up the broadcast or our shortwave transmission. And we know some of you are also joining through other internet sites and digital platforms throughout the world. Welcome as well to all of you. We see now our Holy Father greeting the ecumenical delegation here. And finally, I'd like to send out an, a very warm welcome to those of you joining through our dedicated American Sign Language broadcast, made possible with the help of our friends at Death Catholic Youth Initiative for the Americas. I'm Sister Bernadette Rees. And I'm Joseph Tullock. And it's our privilege to provide the English language commentary for this broadcast of Christmas Mass during the night, live from St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Tonight, Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, an infinite God who became finite, took on flesh, and chose to be born in humility and poverty in a stable. He was born in Bethlehem, in the area Christians know as the Holy Land, a region now torn apart by a terrible war. They called him the Prince of Peace. Tonight, Christians recognize the victory of humility over pride, poverty over riches, and smallness over greatness. Whether you're Catholic or not, a person of faith or not, I invite you to share this holy night with us. Today's liturgy, or this evening's liturgy, will be celebrated in Italian and Latin with readings in Spanish and English and prayers of the faithful in various languages. 
the liturgy will open with the reading from the Roman Martyrology, traditionally known as the Calenda or the Christmas Proclamation, in which we recall the fulfillment of the time of expectation. The Calenda also expresses both the cosmic and theological dimensions of the birth of Jesus, rooting it within the history of humanity on a specific day, in a specific year, in a specific place. On this solemnity of Christmas, Christians celebrate the birth of Christ. Christmas is the second major feast in the Christian liturgical year behind only Easter in importance, and it commemorates the Incarnation, or the coming of Christ in the flesh. Christians have always gathered to commemorate this event, but the earliest mention we have of them celebrating the Nativity on the 25th of December comes to us from the year 336 AD, from a document known as the Chronograph of Philocardus. Deacons, bishops and cardinals are now processing into the basilica. They're accompanied by a group of children bearing flowers which they'll place at the foot of an image of the baby Jesus. The flowers are being brought by children from Italy, India, Mexico, the Ivory Coast and South Korea. in front of the confession and we can now see the children a bit dimmer than the rest of the basilica. The lights will come on once the pro Christmas proclamation has been proclaimed. We see our Holy Father sitting down in the presider's chair 
And at this point, I'd also like to welcome all of you who may now be joining us through the television stations, picking up this live broadcast of the Christmas Mass during the night here in St. Peter's Basilica. This broadcast being made possible by Eurovision as a worldwide telecast. hear the Kalenda proclaimed in song. Octavo Kalenda Sianuari Luna Tertia Decima December the 25th, the 13th day of the lunar month. Sanctis Seculis a Creatione Mundi Quando in principio Deus creavit celum et terram. Many centuries having passed from when God created the world and had made man in his own image. Per multis et siam seculis Ex quo post diluvium altissimus in nobibus arcum posuerat. And many centuries after the flood had ended, and the Most High had displayed the rainbow, sign of covenant and peace. Amigratione abrae, patris nostri in fide. Deur caldeorum. Twenty-one centuries after the birth of Abraham, our father in faith, migrated from the land of Ur of the Chaldeans. Abegressu populi Israel de Egipto, Moise duce. Thirteen centuries after the exodus of Israel from Egypt, under the guidance of Moses. Abunctione David in regem, anno circiter mille. Approximately 1,000 years after the anointing of David as king of Israel. Hebdomada sexagesima quinta, iuxta Danielis profetia. In the 65th week, according to the prophecy of Daniel. About the time of the 194th Olympiad. In the year 752 of the foundation of Rome. Octaviani Augusti. In the 42nd year of the Empire of Octavius Augustus. While peace reigned in the land in the sixth age of the world, Jesus Christ, eternal God of the eternal Father. Filius, mundum volens advento suopissimo consecrare, de Spiritu Sancto conceptus, novenque 
postconceptionem de cursis mensibus. Desiring to sanctify the world with his coming, nine months passing from the time of his conception, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Bethlehem of Judea, born of the Virgin Mary, made man. Natibitas Domini nostri Jesu Christi Secundum The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ in his human nature. And at this point the deacon unveils the one who was foretold throughout all these years, the bells ring. And the children now place their flowers along the edges of the throne that's been set up. Italy and India, Mexico, the Ivory Coast, and South Korea. My father now preparing the incense and the image of the baby Jesus be incensed by the deacon. at the altar, Cardinal Giovanni Battista Rey, the Cardinal Dean of the College of Cardinals, now incensing the altar as the choir provides our entrance antiphon to this evening's liturgy. The Lord said to me, you are my son, it is I who have begotten you this day.
prepare our hearts to enter into this liturgy. Del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. La pace sia con voi. E con il In questa notte santissima celebriamo l'ingresso della luce del Verbo nella storia dell'umanità. Rallegramoci della venuta del Messia. E provati dalle tenebre. On this most holy night we celebrate the coming of the light of the Word made flesh into human history. We rejoice in the arrival of the Messiah, yet are weighed down by the darkness of sin and the horrors of war. Let us ask the Father for the gift of the Spirit, the bringer of consolation and joy, that he may renew the face of the earth. Let us recognize that we are all sinners, and asking for the Lord's mercy, let us forgive each other from the depths of our hearts. Confesso a Dio Onipotente e a voi, fratelli e sorelle, che non ho molto peccato in pensieri, parole, opere e omissioni. Per mia colpa, mia colpa, mia grandissima colpa, e supplico la Beata Sempre Vergine Maria, gli angeli santi e voi, fratelli e sorelle, di pregare per me il Signore Dio nostro. Dio Onipotente abbia misericordia, perdoni i nostri peccati e ci conduca alla vita eterna. Amen.
प्रियम ओ Dio che hai illuminato questa santissima notte con lo splendore di Cristo per la luce del mondo concedi a noi che sulla terra contempliamo oh God, i suoi misteri made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light grant we pray that we have, who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen Our Lectura first reading del libro this evening comes from the book of the prophet El pueblo Isaiah. que caminaba en tinieblas vio una luz grande. Habitaba en tierra y sombras de muerte. The people that walked in darkness has seen a great light. La alegría. And those Aumenta who live in a land gozo. of deep shadow, a Se light has shown. Como gozan al you cegar. have made their gladness Como greater. You have made their joy increase. They rejoice in your presence, as men rejoice at harvest time, as men are happy when they are dividing the spoils. For the yoke that was weighing on him, the bar across his shoulders, the rod of his oppressor, these you break, as on the day of Midian. For all the footgear of battle, every cloak rolled in blood is burnt and consumed by fire. Maravilla For there is a child born Dios for us, fuerte. a son given Padre to us, and dominion is laid on his shoulders. And this is the name Para they give him, Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Dios. Father, Prince of Peace. Wide is his dominion in a peace that has no end. For the throne of David and for his royal power, which he establishes and makes secure in justice and integrity. From this time onwards and forever, the zealous love of the Lord of hosts will do this. Verbum Domini. Today a Saviour has been born to us. He is Christ the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Today a Saviour has been born to us, he is Christ the Lord. Proclaim his help day by day, tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples.
Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy in the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. justice he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. God's grace has been revealed, and it has made salvation possible for the whole human race, and taught us that what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God, and all our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world while we are waiting in hope for the blessing, which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. He sacrificed himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness and to purify the people so that it could be his very own and would have no ambition except to do good. now receiving a blessing from the Pope.
Gospels in hand, the Gospel procession now makes its way to the Ambo. As the choir has chanted the Gospel Antiphon, I bring you news of great joy. Today, a Savior has been born to us, Christ the Lord. Reading from today, from the Gospel according to Luke. Dominus vobiscum. Lectio Santi Evangelii secundum Lucam. now senses the book of the Gospels. A reminder, we are about to hear the word of the Lord. In quei giorni un decreto di Cesare Augusto ordinò che si facesse il censimento di tutta la terra. Questo primo censimento fu fatto quando Quirinio era governatore della Siria. Tutti andavano a farsi censire, ciascuno nella propria città. Caesar Augustus issued a decree for a census of the whole world to be taken. This census, the first, took place while Corbinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and traveled up to Judea, to the town of David called Bethlehem, since he was of David's house and line, in order to be registered together with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. Un angelo del Signore si presentò. In the countryside close by, there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took turns to watch their flocks during the night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And here is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the angel, there was a great throng of the heavenly host praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Verbum Domini now processing with the book of the Gospels to the throne where the image of baby Jesus is enthroned and the word of God 
just proclaimed will be enthroned. A wonderful image of the Word made flesh, the Word revealed over thousands of years, made incarnate in Christ the Lord. Il censimento di tutta la terra. E questo è il contesto in cui Gesù nasce. 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 Questo è il contesto in cui Gesù The king of history chooses the way of littleness. None of the powerful take notice of him. Only a few shepherds relegated to the margins of social life. The census speaks of something else. In the scriptures, the taking of a census has negative associations. King David tempted by large numbers and an unhealthy sense of self-sufficiency, sinned gravely by ordering a census of the people. He wanted to know how powerful he was, and after some nine months, he knew how many men could wield a sword. The Lord was angered, and the people suffered. In questa notte invece, night, however, il figlio di Davide, Jesus, the son of David, after nine months in Mary's womb, is born in Bethlehem, the city of David. He does not impose punishment for the census, but humbly allows himself to be registered. Uno fra i tanti. One of many. Non vediamo un Dio adirato che castiga, ma il Dio misericordioso che si incarna, che entra debole nel mondo, che è seduto dall'annuncio, che è seduto dall'annuncio, che il nostro cuore stasera è a Betlemme, che è ancora il principe della pace. Viene per tutta la giornata logica, per la logica perdente della guerra. Con il ruggire delle armi, che anche oggi prevents him from finding room in the world. Il sentimento di tutta la terra, the census of the whole earth, in a word, manifests the all-too-human thread that runs through history. The quest for worldly power and might, fame and glory, which measures everything in terms of success, results, numbers and figures. È l'ossessione della prestazione. Ma al contempo nel censimento è la via di Gesù che viene a cercarci attraverso l'incarnazione. The incarnation. He is not the God of accomplishment, but the God of incarnation. He does not eliminate injustice from above, but by a show of power. By a show of power, he does not burst on the scene with limitless power, but descends to the narrow confines of our lives. He does not shun our frailties, but he makes them his own. Fratelli e sorelle, brothers and sisters, tonight we might ask ourselves, in che Dio crediamo? Which God do we believe in? Nel Dio dell'incarnazione? In the God of incarnation? In quello della prestazione? Or the God of achievement? Sì, perché c'è il rischio di vivere il Natale avendo in testa un'idea pagana. Because there is always a risk that we can celebrate Christmas while thinking of God in pagan terms, as a powerful potentate in the sky. 
God linked to power worldly success and the idolatry of consumerism. Sempre torna l'immagine falsa di false image of a distant and petulant deity who treats the good well and the bad poorly a deity made in our own image and likeness handy for resolving our problems and removing our rails. God, on the other hand, does not wave a magic wand. He is no god of commerce who promises everything at once. He does not save us by pushing a button, but draws near to us in order to change our word from within. Yet, how deeply ingrained is the worldly notion of a distant, domineering, unbending and powerful deity who helps his own to prevail against others. This is very deeply rooted in us. But that is not the case. Our God was born for all during a census of the whole earth. Let us look then to the true and living God, the God who is beyond all human reckoning and yet allows himself to be numbered by our accounting, the God who revolutionizes history by becoming a part of history, the God who respects us so much as to allow us to reject him, who takes away sin by taking it, taking it upon himself, who does not eliminate pain but transforms it, who does not remove the problems from our lives but grants us a hope that is greater than our problems. God so greatly desires to embrace our lives that, infinite though he is, he becomes finite for our sake. In his greatness, he chooses to become small. In his righteousness, he submits to our injustice. Brothers and sisters, this is the wonder of Christmas. Not a mixture of sappy emotions and worldly contentment, but the unprecedented tenderness of a God who saves the world by becoming incarnate. Let us contemplate the child, let us contemplate the manger, his crib, which the angels call a sign for us. It is truly the sign, it is truly a sign that reveals God's face, a face of compassion and mercy, whose might is shown always and only in love. He comes close to us. Si fa vicino. He comes close to us. Tenero e compassionevole. Tender and merciful. Questo è il modo di essere di Dio. This is God's way of being. Vicinanza, Closeness, compassione, compassion, tenerezza. and tenderness. Sorelle, fratelli, sisters and brothers, stupiamoci perché si è fatto marvel. carne at the fact that he became flesh. Flesh, the word evokes our human frailty. The Gospel uses this word to show us that God completely assumed our human condition. Why did he go to such lengths? Because he cares for us. Because he loves us to the point that he considers us more precious than all else. Fratello, dear sorella, brother, dear sister, per Dio, to God, who changed history in the course of a census, tu non sei un numero, you are not a number, ma sei un volto. you are a face, Il tuo nome your è name nel suo cuore. is written on his heart. Ma tu al tuo if you look cuore, to your own heart and think of your own inadequacies and this world that is so judgmental and unforgiving, you may find it difficult to celebrate this Christmas. You may think that things are going badly or feel dissatisfied with your limitations, your failings and your problems and for your sins. Today, though, please, let Jesus take the initiative. He says to you, for your sake, I became flesh. For your sake, I became just like you. Why remain caught up in your troubles? Like the shepherds who left their flocks, leave behind the prison of your sorrows 
and embrace the tender love of the God who became a child. Put aside your masks and your armor. Cast your cares on him and he will take care of you. Lui che si è fatto carne non attente le tue prestazioni di successo, not for your achievements, ma il but tuo for cuore aperto heart. e confidente. E tu in Lui riscoprirai chi sei, you will un figlio who you truly amato are, di Dio, a beloved son una figlia amata di Dio. God. Ora puoi crederlo, Now you can perché stanotte it. il Signore è venuto alla luce tonight, per illuminare the Lord la tua born vita. To light up your life. I suoi occhi brillano di amore per with love for you. E noi and we abbiamo difficoltà a credere questo, che gli occhi di Dio brillano this, di amore per noi. God's eyes are with love for us. E sì, Cristo non guarda yet, i numeri, ma i volti. Numbers, Chi faces. però guarda a Lui tra However, le tante cose, who looks at him amid the many distractions and mad rushes of a bustling and Chi indifferent world, a Bethlehem, molta gente in Bethlehem, presa dalle as crowds del censimento, of people were caught up in the excitement veniva, of the census, coming and going, e filling the inns, del più and e del meno, engaged in petty conversation, sono stati a, Gesù. a few of them were close to Jesus, sono Maria, Giuseppe, Mary and Joseph, pastori, the shepherds, magi. and then the Magi. Impariamo da loro. Let us learn from them. Con lo they stood gazing upon Jesus con il cuore rivolto a lui. with their hearts set on him. Non parlano, they did not speak, ma adorano. but they worshipped. E questa notte, and tonight, fratelli e sorelle, brothers and sisters, è il tempo dell'adorazione. It's time for worship. Adorare. To worship. L'adorazione è la via per accogliere l'incarnazione. The way to embrace the incarnation. Perché nel silenzio che Gesù per in silence that Jesus the word of the Father becomes flesh in our lives. Facciamo anche noi come a Betlemme. Let us do as they did in Bethlehem. Casa del pane. A town whose name means the house of bread. Let us stand before him who is the bread of life. Riscopriamo l'adorazione. Let us rediscover worship. Riscopriamo l'adorazione. Let us rediscover worship. Perché adorare to worship is not to waste time, ma but to a make di our time a dwelling place for God. E far fiorire in noi it is il seme to let the seed of the incarnation bloom within us. All'opera del it is co to cooperate in the work of the Lord, who, like leaven, changes the world. Adorare, it is to intercede, a Dio to make reparation, la to allow God to realign history. Un grande narratore di imprese epiche scrisse al suo figlio. His son, Ti offro l'unica cosa grande da put before you the one great thing to love on earth, the sacrament. Lì troverai There, fascino, you will find romance, onore, glory, fedeltà, honor, fidelity, and the true way of all your loves terra. on earth. Fratelli e sorelle, brothers and Stanotte, sisters. Tonight, love changes history. Make us believe, Lord, in the power of your love, so different from the power of the world. Make us like Mary, Joseph, the shepherds and the Magi, the shepherds. Let us gather around you and worship you. Resti da te più simili a As te. you conform us Potremo ever more to yourself, we shall bear witness before the world to the beauty of your countenance. Our Holy Father reflecting on the mystery we celebrate tonight during this Christmas Mass during the night being celebrated here in St. Peter's Basilica. Where about 6,500 people have gathered. Holy Father quoting from J.R.R. Tolkien at the end of 
his homily. we prepare ourselves in a few moments we will be reciting the creed in which we recall the mystery of the second person of the blessed trinity god from god light from light taking flesh in the womb of mary by the work of the holy spirit If you're at home, we can even add a physical gesture to the proclamation of the part of the creed regarding the incarnation by kneeling down.
Brothers and sisters, on this most holy night, as we contemplate in wonder the mystery of the Incarnation, let us pray to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he might bless the world with his light. Let us pray for the Pope and all the Church's pastors. We pray in Chinese. Father of our Savior, who gave us your eternal word, sustain Pope Francis and all the bishops of the Church. Inspire in them prophetic words and actions and comfort them with your saving word. Let us pray for government leaders and for refugees looking to be welcomed. We pray in French. Father of the Redeemer, who entrusted your Son to a human family, enlighten those who govern, unlock the doors of human hearts, and open the boundaries of land and sea to those seeking welcome. Let us pray for the gift of harmony and peace. In Arabic we pray, Father of the Word, we sent the bearer of true peace into the world, put an end to the sound of destructive weapons, raise a new song of joy in human hearts and grant harmony and justice to all. Let us pray for children and the most vulnerable. We pray in Portuguese. Father of the Messiah, who made us sons and daughters of your son, defend children from every form of violence, free women who are exploited and oppressed, and comfort the elderly and the sick. Let us pray for those who do not believe in God. In Vietnamese we pray, Father of Light, who through the Incarnation dispelled our darkness, by your Spirit enlighten those who do not believe in you, console those who have lost all hope, and strengthen everyone with the gift of faith in the Savior. Dio onnipotente e misericordioso, ascolta le preghiere, ci rivolgiamo con fiducia e riconoscendo la tua immensa bontà nella nascita del Cristo, tuo Figlio, concedici di diventare testimoni luminosi di misericordia. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, listen to the prayers we entrust to you. Recognizing your immense goodness in the birth of Christ your Son, may we become luminous witnesses to your mercy. Through Christ our Lord.
liturgy of the word to the liturgy of the Eucharist. We now see people bearing the gifts of bread and wine, which will become the body and blood of our Lord. the altar and our celebrant at the altar, Cardinal Giovanni Battista Rey, now offering the gifts as the Sistine Chapel Choir chants, O King of Heaven, served with such obedience, he is laid in the stable who holds the world, he lies in the manger and reigns in heaven. Today is born a Savior who is Christ the Lord in the city of David. He lies in the manger and reigns in heaven. of you who may be following in a missal, the third Eucharistic prayer will be used today. As the deacon now moves forward to incense the assembly after having incensed the concelebrant, Cardinal Giovanni Battista Rey. We enter now into the most sacred 
moment of the liturgy. Pregate, fratelli e sorelle, perché il mio e vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio, Padre Onnipotente. Signore, riceva dalle tue mani questo sacrificio, allora e gloria del suo nome, per il bene nostro e di tutta la sua santa Chiesa. Ti sia gradito, Padre, la nostra offerta. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord. We pray that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Il Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. In alto i nostri cuori. Sono rivolti al Signore. Rendiamo grazie al Signore nostro Dio. È cosa buona e giusta. È veramente cosa buona e giusta nostra nostro Dio. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Nel mistero del verbo incarnato For in the mystery of the word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible E noi uniti agli angeli agli arcangeli and so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as, without end, we acclaim. Veramente santo sei tu, o Padre, ed è giusto che ogni creatura ti lodi. Per mezzo del tuo Figlio, il Signore nostro Gesù Cristo, nella potenza dello Spirito Santo, fai vivere e santifichi l'universo e continua a donare intorno a te un popolo che dall'Oriente all'Occidente offra al tuo nome il sacrificio perfetto. Ti preghiamo umilmente. Santifica e consacra con il tuo Spirito i doni che ti abbiamo presentato. 
perché diventino il corpo e il sangue del tuo figlio, il Signore nostro Gesù Cristo, che ci ha comandato di celebrare questi misteri. Egli, nella notte in cui veniva tradito, prese il pane, ti rese grazie con la preghiera di benedizione, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, Prendete e mangiatene tutti. Questo è il mio corpo offerto in sacrificio per voi. Allo stesso modo, dopo aver cenato, prese il calice, ti rese grazie con la preghiera di benedizione, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e bevetene tutti, questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me. Mistero della fede Celebrando il memoriale della passione redentrice del tuo figlio, della sua mirabile risurrezione e ascensione al cielo, nell'attesa della sua venuta nella gloria, ti offriamo, Padre, in rendimento di grazie, questo sacrificio vivo e santo. Guarda con amore e riconosci nell'offerta della tua Chiesa la vittima immolata per la nostra redenzione. E a noi che ci nutriamo del corpo e del sangue del tuo Figlio, dona la pienezza dello Spirito Santo perché diventiamo in Cristo un solo corpo e un solo Spirito. Lo Spirito Santo faccia di noi un'offerta perenne a te gradita, perché possiamo ottenere il regno promesso con i tuoi eletti con la Beata Maria Vergine Madre di Dio, San Giuseppe suo Sposo, i Tuoi Santi Apostoli, i gloriosi Martiri e tutti i Santi nostri intercessori presso di Te. Ti preghiamo, o oh Padre, questo sacrificio della nostra riconciliazione doni pace e salvezza al mondo intero. Conferma nella fede e nell'amore la tua Chiesa pellegrina sulla terra. Il tuo servo e nostro Papa Francesco, l'ordine episcopale, i presbiteri, i diaconi e il popolo che tu hai redento. Ascolta la preghiera di questa famiglia che hai convocato alla tua presenza nella notte santissima in cui la Vergine Maria diede al mondo il Salvatore. Ricongiungi a te, Padre misericordioso, tutti i tuoi figli ovunque dispersi. Accogli nel tuo regno i nostri fratelli e sorelle defunti e tutti coloro che in pace con te hanno lasciato questo mondo. Concedi anche a noi di ritrovarci insieme, a godere per sempre della Tua gloria. In Cristo nostro Signore, per mezzo del quale Tu, o oh Dio, doni al mondo ogni bene. Per 
de Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo. A te, Dio Padre, Padre Onnipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli. be invited to pray the Lord's Prayer. Salvatore, e formati al suo divino insegnamento, osiamo dire... Liberaci, o oh Signore, da tutti i mali. Concedi la pace ai nostri giorni e con l'aiuto della Tua misericordia vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato e sicuri da ogni turbamento, nell'attesa che si compia la beata speranza e venga il nostro Salvatore Gesù Cristo. Signore Gesù Cristo, che hai detto ai tuoi apostoli, vi lascio la pace, vi do la mia pace, non guardare ai nostri peccati, ma alla fede della tua Chiesa, e dona le unità e pace secondo la tua volontà. Tu che vivi e regni nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. La pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. E con il tuo Scambiatevi il dono della pace. And we've been invited to exchange the gift of peace. We can do that with anyone who is in our presence right now or even people along the streets should we be driving.
Ecco l'agnello di Dio, ecco colui che toglie i peccati del mondo. Beati gli invitati alla cena dell'agnello. Oh Signore, oh Signore, non sono degno di partecipare alla sua mensa, ma di soltanto una parola e una parola, e io sarò salvato. St. Peter's Square on the occasion of the 800th anniversary of the very first Christmas crash, which St. Francis of Assisi created in Greccio, the Antiphon on the holy mountains from the womb before the daybreak I begot you.
Tonight we celebrate the Christmas mystery, Jesus, born in a humble stable into a poor family. Simple shepherds were the first witnesses to this event. In this poverty, heaven's glory was made manifest. The church never tires of singing the glory of this night. Today the Virgin brings into the world the eternal, and the earth offers a cave to the inaccessible. The angels and shepherds praise him, and the magi advance with the star. For you are born for us, little child, God eternal. Preghiamo, Signore Dio nostro, che ci doni la grazia di celebrare nella gioia la nascita del Redentore. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we, who are glad in participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity, may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Inchinatevi per la benedizione. Dio infinitamente buono. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illuminated this most holy night, drive far from you the wickedness the darkness of vice and illumine your heart with the light of virtue. May God, who will the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. May God, by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor you and make you sharers with the church in heaven. E la benedizione di Dio Onipotente, Padre, Figli, Spirito Santo, descenda su voi e con voi rimanga sempre. Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, assist your people who have fallen, yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature you bore your Creator, yet remained a virgin after as before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners. Procession now forming again. Once again. 
again we'll see the children processing out with baby Jesus who will be laid in the crib at the in the nativity scene set up here in the basilica as they will be are accompanied by the famous Italian Christmas hymn to Shandi Dalle Stelle you come down from the stars written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. with the child, the image of the child Jesus, the Pope in his wheelchair, now flanked by the children, bringing flowers, now making their way over to the side of the basilica where the Christmas nativity scene has been set up. being placed into the crib by the deacon.
anointed with rosaries by the Holy Father and giving him a quick handshake as well. This live broadcast of Christmas Mass during the night, presided over by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Basilica, comes to a close. The music we enjoyed this evening was performed by the Sistine Chapel Choir under the direction of Monsignor Marcos Pavan, accompanied on the organ by José Soleil Cor. We'll be back live tomorrow just before 12 noon Rome time with Pope Francis's Urbi et Orbi message and blessing. In the meantime, please do visit the Vatican News website as well as our Facebook, Instagram, X and YouTube pages for more coverage of today's Christmas liturgy and other news from the Vatican and the world. You can find us at www.vaticannews.va. of Vatican Media. I'd like to thank all of the in-studio uh, staff, uh, technician Daniele Giorgi, and our audio coordinator Thaddeus Jones, who've made this broadcast possible. And to all of you who have joined us through our media partners, EWTN, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV India and Sunday Shalom at Madarshan TV, Uganda Catholic Television, Radio Maria Philippines, Relevant Radio, Sirius XM Radio, the Catholic Channel, CBS News London, Radio Maria Lithuania, Luminous Radio, Radio Maria Papua New Guinea, and all of the stations picking up the worldwide telecast made possible by Eurovision, as well as our friends at DYCIA who have brought this broadcast to you, and of course to all of you for joining us. Wishing all of you a very blessed and peaceful Christmas season. I'm Sister Bernadette Reese. And I'm Joseph Tullock. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Laudate Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ.
Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, we invite